right, kids. Now how about we do some scripture readings from the Book of Mormon? All right! Ow! The Book of Mormon? What's that? Okay, so we're going to look at this, uh, 1987. Here's one of Joe's seer stones. See, he put his uh, seer stone into his old white hat, stuffed his head into the hat, and uh, had visions. I thought we'd use all Mormon sources for this. Well, this is the uh, revered edition by B.H. Roberts, 1965, and uh... I was out in the woods, praying. I was asking God if I should be a Protestant, or a Catholic, or what. And suddenly, God and Jesus appeared before me. And that night he saw an angel, dum-dum-dum-dum-dum. Oh my gosh! I am Moroni. I am a Native American. But your skin is white. Yes, long ago all Native Americans were white. We all came to America from Jerusalem. And while we were here, we were visited by Christ. Dum, 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 dum. There is an ancient book buried near here, written on gold plates that account my people's lives. Also buried with the book are two seer stones, the Urim and Thummim, which will allow you to translate the writings. Find it and fulfill your destiny. 1976. So you can get something like this off of eBay. Uh, it's like six volumes and you know, 20 bucks delivered to you. You can research all the truths that some people seem to have a problem with on uh, YouTube anyhow. But I thought if I gave Mormon sources, then I wouldn't be called an anti-Mormon. See, seer stones. So we'll take a quick look. I dug around all morning where the angel had told me to look. Hmm. Wow. Inside the stone box, I found the magical seer stones. Under that, I found four gold plates written in strange writing. This must be the gospel that Jesus told the Nephites. Well, they were the most amazing things I'd ever gazed upon. I must translate what's written on the plates into English, so you can all read it. Dum, 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 dum. I thought we'd use all Mormon sources for this. So the Urim and Thummim were described by his mom, uh, Lucy Mack, uh, the Munchausen of Mormonism. She uh, describes them as uh, very large and like diamonds and they're set in a bow and Joe would put them on and use them. It's never real clear because you could never stuff your head into that hat with those glasses on. But this is all true. Just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's not real. I have in my possession an ancient book written on gold plates that tells of Jesus Christ's second coming here in America. In America? Dum, 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 dum. It's true, and I'm going to translate the plates and publish it into a book for the whole world to read. Now, I know you have a lot of money, Mr. Harris, and I'm just going to need a little bit to pay for the publishing costs. Mm, I don't know. How do you expect to translate it? With these. Rocks? They're not rocks. They're seer stones, given to me by an angel. With them, God allows me to translate the plates into English. Watch. You take this quill and paper and write down what I say. Sit here. I have the golden plates here in this hat. Now, David, he's a, uh, a witness to the Book of Mormon. So we know that what he's saying is true. I will now give you a description of the manner in which the Book of Mormon was translated. Joseph Smith would put the seer stone into a hat and put his face in the hat, drawing it closely around his face to exclude the light, and in the darkness the spiritual light would shine. A piece of something resembling parchment would appear, and on that appeared the writing. One character at a time would appear, and under it was the interpretation in English. Brother Joseph would read off the English to Oliver Codrey, who was this principal scribe, and when it was written down and repeated to Brother Joseph to see if it was correct, then it would disappear, and another character with the interpretation would appear. Thus the Book of Mormon was translated by the gift and power of God, and not by any power of man. And he further says that the voice calling out the words sounded vaguely like the voice of Sidney Rigdon. I need to have them somewhere dark so I can read the spiritual light. Really? Now when I put the seer stones into the hat, the ancient letters light up and change to English, which I can then read to you. Wow! Oh, I'm seeing the light. Oh, okay, write this down. And 
After the translation of the Book of Mormon was finished, early in the spring of 1830, before April the 6th, Joseph gave the stone to Oliver Cowdery and told me as well as the rest that he was through with it and did it, he did not use the stone anymore. And here we learn that some revelations came through the stone. Some revelations are of God and some revelations are of man and some revelations are of the devil. And if you freeze frame this, you can read the rest. Okay, so we're going to look at the, this. That's a salamander. It's not white, but it has its own special salamander pouch. See? You have these special magical pouches and laymans and prayer parchments. Holiness to the Lord golden parchments. Hiram carried that on him. He was still killed with it, but I mean, he still had it on him, you know. St. Peter Bindham. There's all kinds of really wild stuff going on. Become a Mormon, find out, you know, cast a spell, uh, have a prayer circle, 